Congratulations. As leader of oh. the Saints, you've been selected as this year's contestant for Genki Bowl 7. Please what? meet us as soon as you can, and good luck to you. Excuse me? Genki Ball? What the hell? Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the craziest, wildest, bloodiest extravaganza outside of Juarez, Genki Bowl 7. I'm Zach, and you all know my tag team partner, Bobby. Bobby, previous Genki Bowls have had no lack of surprises. Of the nastiest sort, Zach, and this year will be no different. Murder, mayhem, and fun are all just a big part of any Genki Bowl, and the genius man cat has cooked up an exciting list of never-before-seen events that promise to be even deadlier than anything we've ever seen before. Oh, hey, worse than the Grizzly Bear Rodeo from Genki Bowl 4? There is absolutely no doubt about it. <laughs> wow, I'm actually salivating. Oh my goodness. And as an added bonus, Bobby, we've just learned that the leader of the Third Street Saints will be taking part in today's festivities. Think they can keep the winning streak going, huh? We're about to find out. The games are going to begin, so let's get down there. And when I say down, we mean down. To the action! All right. Ooh, this is what we're gonna start with? Sure, why not? Oh. Today's match was created by Angry Tiger. It's a water bear. On the classic super ethical reality climax. That's right, Bobby. And I hear there's new things in store for our mascots. I think Tammy can fill us in on that. Oh Tammy. Where'd you come from? Sit the hell down. Darkest corners of the jungle lives a great warrior. Protected by fierce <clears throat> and mascot Boing. She Whoa, pull on there, Tammy. What are you doing? I'm reading the script Angry Tiger handed me. She handed you a script? And the best part's coming up. That hash in pocket! She keeps her minions in line through the threat of shark-infested waters. So beware. All who enter the jungle of the Angry Tiger! <laughs> well, that was entertaining. Thanks, Tammy. Uh, you're welcome, Zach. Amazing! Sharks are a new addition to the Genki wheelhouse. Looks like the mascots <clears throat> better hope they don't fall in. That should give them an edge. Alright, buddy, you wanna go, huh? Think you're some sort of big shot sniper? We'll see about that. Since Professor Genki's has seen the caliber of shooting, every shot seems to hit something today. All right. Oh, got the dualies. Dualies on deck. Oh, come on! Barely touched the damn thing. Oh. Got it. Wish we had insta replay on that. Oh. So you could blindside me. I just spoke with and he expressed his apprehension at the new format created by Angry Tiger. These mascots have been coming to Genki Bowl for years. Oh. What has them so worked up with this match? With so many of those hires to fill the ranks of the Genki mascot army, taken from the streets of Steelport. They're more used to the urban. Uh oh, that sounds like a hunter. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. That shot hit the mark. Come on, man. Come on. Stay down. <clears throat> All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, smells delicious. Uh oh, don't want to be, don't want to be in the water for that. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
You didn't you didn't send me back to the beginning, did you? Oh Sure looks like it. That turns up the heat on the Saint. <laughs> Alright, no more messing around here. Hmm. <clears throat> Gotta go, guys. It's been real nice meeting ya. Got a blast. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Come on. I'm right here. Whew. That was a close one. All right. Apocalypse Genki. Angry Tiger. Apocalypse Genki. Cool. Oh, the next next instance is available. What's the next instance? Is there more to do? More Genki related? Yes. What? Fans, Zach and Bobby here bringing you All right. some Use murder to motivate Professor Genki for his public Zach, appearance. We just received word that Professor Genki has decided, in honor of Genki Bowl oh. 7, to make a public appearance on the Hey, Professor. And I also hear that the Master of Ceremony will be escorted by none other than our current Genki Bowl frontrunner, the leader of the Saints. If you want to meet the genius behind the epic extravaganza of bloodshed and carnage, then head to Leather and Lace. And while you're there, go ahead and pick up a gimp suit for that special someone in your life. That's all from us. We'll be back later with more coverage from Genki Ball 7. You know, I could use a gimp suit. Alright, well, I think I picked a bad place to be if I wanted to murder people. This doesn't seem... Oh, alright. Let's look for civilians. Sorry guys, nothing personal. You know how it is. Oh! Press and hold... What? Press and hold... IS? What does that mean? Oh. L1, you mean. Activate flamethrowers. Flame on. Oh. I've been given a command. Alright, well, Genki, they're a little bit hard to reach. Can you pick a better spot? Are there different mascots you want me to kill? I mean, these ones... Oh, here we go. Um, hello guys, how's it going? <clears throat> no, 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 stay right there, stay right there. Uh, hold on, let me try... There we go. There we go. Genki is pleased. Can I get back? Can I get my flamethrower back, please? Because that was that was kind of fun. That was kind of productive as well. There we go, thank you. Genki commands you to cause 750 points of damage to other cars with your vehicle. <clears throat> Genki is pleased. Oh, 
musical coming soon to the level of, of course I won. There we go. Flame on. Oh, all right. All good for now. Now we just uh, take him to his appearance. All right, Professor. There you go. All right, though. And that was super ethical PR opportunity. I mean, it was... It was definitely an opportunity. I don't, I mean, and it's, it's a PR opportunity, sure, not a good one, and, uh, not sure about the super ethical part either, but, you know, sure, why not, I ain't, I ain't gonna argue, oh, who, okay, Welcome, Genki Ball 7 fans, um, to the latest and greatest what's going on? of guts, gore, and glory, courtesy of that crazy cat man, Professor Genki. That's right, Zach. And today's show brings with it a very special surprise. Professor Genki's very own Genki girl, Sexy Kitten, has designed a brand new game for our contestants to play. And what a game oh, it is. No! Here to tell us more is our correspondent down on the streets, Tammy Tolliver. Tammy. Thank you, Zach. Our contestant will have to maneuver a giant ball of yarn throughout the city and cause as much damage as mayhem as they can before time runs out. A giant ball of yarn? Looks like Sexy Kitty definitely put her paw print on this show. Oh, and that's not all, Bobby. The ultimate goal is to catch the mouse. Do that, and the contestant will score big. <laughs> a mouse and a ball of yarn, huh? Is something the matter? No. It just sounds like my friend's bachelor party. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. We really know, Zach. We never did find that mouse. With the destruction and explosions our audience is seeing here today, Professor Genki must be really pleased. As the second event for Genki Bowl 7, I can't see how he wouldn't be, Zach. Sexy Kitten has really put together a great show. Oh, and there's more to come, Bobby. Another match full of yarn and carnage. Where are you going? This will be a Genki Bowl for the record book, Zach. The Genki girls are certainly going all out in their designs. <clears throat> and the Saints head honcho is certainly going all out on this course. Makes you wonder if they always drive around like this. No need to wonder. I've seen this celebrity on the street, and let me tell you, nothing is safe when the Saints roll by. Then how are they still allowed to drive in Steelport? Would you like to be the officer who asks the Saints for their license and registration? I don't think so, Zach. Especially given the number of times they've been accused of grand theft auto. I doubt any registration would be in their name. I doubt they ever even had a license. They have a license. A license to kill. Alright then. Well, that was actually exciting. What's next? I love driving these things. Guess what? The what? professor thought you did such a fantastic job. He wants you to drive again. Remember, oh. don't look him in the eye unless you want to wake up in a North Korean prison camp. We're going for another drive? I mean, that... That wasn't really fun. Can I do the kitten thing again? I'd rather do that. Hey there, Get Ball fans! Are you 
Hello again, Professor. Literally missed every civilian. Oh. Over here, Professor. Saints, the champion so far here at Genki Ball 7 will be accompanying him. I heard last time the crowds were ablaze with excitement. Literally, some people left with third degree burns. <laughs> Nothing like a little calamine lotion will fix. So, sports fans, if you want to catch a glimpse of the genius man pack, hurry on down to Planet Saints right now. And don't forget to tune in for the next event here at Genki Bowl 7. Ain't no one can top me. Oh, oh. Got a target. There we go. Target down. I got you, Professor. Oh. Hello, lesser mascots. Prepare to meet your doom. Get the hell out of here. Alright, let's look for people to roast. Alright, one more to go. There we go. Alright. How was that pleasure meeting doing, Professor? Alright. There we go. Exciting. You enjoyed that, did you? No, all right, well, here you go. Good luck out there. Yep. Is that it? Seriously, that's it? That's the, the DLC? Just three minigames? There's not even like a story that th threads between them. Just do more of these. <sighs> How many are, are, are left? Are there a lot? Um... Let's see activities. We got We got one more Apocalypse Genki. What? That can't be right. Oh, and then we got Another kitten. Alright, I mean, there's only two. So far, I think. So, maybe there's gonna be, like, a special cutscene? I doubt it, but... Maybe. Alright, so... Let's see what happens. 
Welcome back, Kinky fans. It's time to watch as the leader of the Saints tears up the town once again for fun and profit. What is right, Zach? This giant ball of death yard seems to be the perfect way to cruise around the city of Steelport. But only in Sexy King Yardgasm can you find such a mode of transportation. Outside of Kinky Bowl 7, what's your favorite way to get around, Bobby? Well, that's easy. By helicopter. You aren't afraid of bikes, I take it. If I have to choose between getting mutilated by the drivers of this city or a carefree flight with a view, I think the choice is obvious. But what if there's some sort of uh, malfunction that causes the chopper to go down? Parachutes are a wonderful invention, Zach. And if the chute fails? Try all you want, Zach. I'm still needing you to work in the morning. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I saw you putting sugar in my gas tank last night. Now, huh? Sound, it's like a symphony being played out for our fans. Then you and the fans must be tone deaf. I don't think that's what Sexy Kitten had in mind when she designed this chorus. Sometimes genius is discovered by accident. Look at how champagne came about. Bobby, are you saying you'd listen to a recording of this match in your car on your way to work in the morning? Absolutely. I would be a little worried about drifting off to sleep, though. How can that possibly be a worry? This sounds just like the streets of Steelport outside my window at night. Puts me right out. I'd be drifting off right now if it weren't for the Saints flow I just had. Just warm it up. And that's it for Sexy Kitten Yarngasm. Our contestants All right, certainly though. performed up to expectations, Zach. Right you are, Bobby. Cool. This is already getting... Oh! 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 Alright. Well, never mind, forget I said anything. <clears throat> I was gonna say, this is getting irritating. Uh, it's already starting to get like repetitive so I was gonna say if there's gonna be another one of these I'm not gonna do them ow what the hell saint try to kill me take over my operation who do you think you are That's right, officer. Shoot her down. Unbelievable. The nerve on some people. Give them a home, a purpose, and then they try to run you over for some reason. Uh, excuse me, where's, where's my weapons? Ball fans, the final match in Angry Tigers Apocalypse Genki is about to begin. Here we go. I'm hoping for more mascots. Sit the hell down. Depart by man eating sharks. Eh? <laughs> you mean mascot eating sharks, <clears throat> don't you, Bobby? Well, now you're splitting hairs. You mean fur. That was terrible. Hi, thank you. Okay, take us away from this conversation, Tammy. Well, Bobby, several sharks are actually having digestive problems with the fur from the mascot outfit. Oh, God. I guess there's no escaping the truth here. Sharks and mascots are truly star-crossed lovers. But no oh. less entertaining for the fans. Right you are there, Bobby. <laughs> with that, a hunter has been released. Oh no, seriously? Already? Why? That should give them an edge. It's been a long time since Professor Genki's has seen the caliber of shooting. Uh. That's what the fans pay to see. The 
contestant is absolutely on fire. They keep that up, they'll go home rich. <laughs> Perfectly executed. Cash in pocket. Oh. Yes, that's the target to go for. This is turning into an exceptional match. The hell out of here. Bonus targets are the way to go, Bobby. Alright, let's keep going. Very impressive. Whoa. This is turning into an exceptional match. I hate to be a mask. Wait! Yes, it's a present! Oh, a present. I'm seeing greatness here, Zach. It's exciting. That was shocking to our audience as well. Gotta get that to Oh. Oh. Contestant sure has seen better days. Come on, man, the exit is right there. Shocking turn of events. Uh, That's it. They did it. Whew. I wasn't gonna risk it like last time. All right then. Oh, there we go. Angry tiger unlocked. Oh, ah, there we go. Yeah, I knew there was going to be more to this DLC. All right. Here we go. Tammy Tolliver here. The next Hello. match is ready when you are. I expect you'll be a natural at it. All right, though. I'll be, um... Yeah. <laughs> I'll be on my way. Um... Fly through rings and kill mascots on designated rooftops for cash. Hit balloons and. Panda has created this all new event just for Genki Bull. And boy, it is a doozy. And here to give us the details is our very own Tammy Tolliver. Tammy, what does our contestant have to look forward to today? Thanks, fellas. Well, the leader of the Saints will have to skydive through floating rings for cash. Balloons are ethical or unethical, but either will help keep them in the air. And rooftops are populated with Genki mascot teams looking to put a hurtin' on our contestant. Sounds like quite the event. And what can you tell us about the panda suit our contestant is wearing? The panda suit allows the contestant to fly forward faster than normal, keeping them up for a longer time. There's nothing more majestic than seeing a panda in flight. Wait a minute, Bobby. Don't be ridiculous. Pandas can't actually fly. Boy, it's a metaphor, Zack. I don't think it is. Come on. Now, who's been so close? But close isn't enough at Genki Ball. Oh. I think I messed up somewhere along the way. All right, well, that was like... That was like literally out of the frying pan into the fire. I... Stuck the landing apparently, but there you go. <sighs> that, uh, that, that was a lot of stuff to process at the same time. There, Let's try that again. Uh, hit balloons for added lifts. To Touch them. Professor Genki's own sad panda has created this all new event just for Genki Bull. And boy, it is a doozy. And here to give us the details is our very own Tammy Tolliver. Tammy, what does our contestant have to look forward to today? Thanks, fellas. Well, the leader of the Saints will have to skydive through floating rings for cash. Balloons are ethical or unethical, but either will help keep them in the air. And rooftops are populated with Genki mascot teams looking to put a hurt on our contestant. Sounds like quite the event. And what can you tell us about the panda suit our contestant is wearing? The panda suit allows the contestant to fly forward faster than normal, keeping them up for a longer time. There's nothing more majestic than seeing a panda in flight. Wait a minute, Bobby. Don't be ridiculous. Pandas can't actually fly. Boy, it's a metaphor, Zach. I don't think it is. Come on. Now, who's being ridiculous now? Oh.
How do I do it? How do I return to the skies? There sure is a lot of debris How do I do it? I want to get back to the, to the sky. How do you... <sighs> do you... Do you get, get in it like a vehicle? Or do you jump on it? Or... Or what? Do you hit it? <sighs> this is poorly done. This is poorly explained. Welcome to the Sad Panda Sky Blazing! Professor Genki's own Sad Panda has created this all-new event just for Genki Bull. And boy, it is a doozy. And here to give us the details is our very own Tammy Tolliver. Tammy, what does our contestant have to look forward to today? Thanks, fellas. Well, the leader of the Saints will have to skydive through floating rings for cash. Balloons are ethical or unethical, but either will help keep them in the air. And rooftops are populated with Genki mascot teams looking to put a hurt on our contestants. Sounds like quite the event. And what can you tell us about the panda suit our contestant is wearing? The panda suit allows the contestant to fly forward faster than normal, keeping them up for a longer time. There's nothing more majestic than seeing a panda in flight. Wait a minute, Bobby. Don't be ridiculous. Pandas can't actually fly. Well, it's a metaphor, Zach. I don't think it is. Come on. Now who's being ridiculous now? Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. See what happens. More cash and more air from that ethical target. There you go. There sure is Close a enough. Free falling into the streets below, Bobby. Let's check now with Tammy oh. Tolliver and get the crowd's reaction. Tammy, give it to us. Oh, Bobby, things down here are a combination of mass chaos and kleptomania. Most of the shankings, however, appear to be over the flames that kept the balloons in the air. All right, well, it's time for me to go, I guess. Uh -huh. Yes, in fact, several people are heading towards one now. Oh, a businessman just beat down a hobo with his briefcase. A sight not uncommon to these parts. Then an old lady clubbed him with her cane. <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. Well, this lady, oh, wait, looks like a hipster in a Third Street Saints hood and just falcon punched her from behind. Wow, guess our contestant has some fans down below, Bobby. That's right, Zach, and they're going to have a lot more if this Genki Bowl lead holds up. Zach and Bobby? Yes, Tammy. I'm being told several of the mascots are now leaving the rooftops. That's not going to make the professor happy. No, it won't. Genki made it. Yeah, too bad for our contestant, but they didn't quite make it. Yeah, it is too bad. It's too bad that someone thought this was a good idea. I hope they're dead now. So. Yeah. Try that again? Sure, let's do it. <sighs> Welcome to the Sad Panda Sky Blazing! Professor Genki's own Sad Panda has created this all new event just for Genki Bull. And boy, it is a doozy. And here to give us the details is our very own Tammy Tolliver. Tammy, what does our contestant have to look forward to today? Thanks, fellas. Well, the leader of the Saints will have to skydive through floating rings for cash. Balloons are ethical or unethical, but either will help keep them in the air. And rooftops are populated with Genki mascot teams looking to put a hurtin' on our contestants. Sounds like quite the event. And what can you tell us about the panda suit our contestant is wearing? Excuse me? Now it does it? Now I just walk up to it and it does it? Are you kidding me? Wait a minute, Bobby. Don't be ridiculous. Pandas can't actually fly. Boy, it's a metaphor, Zach. I don't think it is. Come on. Now, who's being ridiculous now? The fuck were you thinking? Where have they got the bonus? There sure is a lot there we of go. falling into the streets below, Bobby. Let's check now with Tammy Tolliver to get the crowd's reaction. Tammy, give it to us. Uh, Bobby, things uh... are a combination of mass chaos and kleptomania. Where the hell am I going? 
imagine those are real crowd pleasers in Steelport. Uh -huh. Yes, in fact, several people are heading towards one now. Oh, a businessman just beat down a hobo with uh. a briefcase. A sight not uncommon to these parts. Then an old lady clubbed him with her cane. <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. Well, this lady... Oh, wait. Looks like a hipster in a Third Street Saints hoodie just falcon punched her from behind. Wow. Guess our contestant has some fans down below, Bobby. That's right, Zach. And they're going to have a lot more if this Genki Bowl lead holds up. All right, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to chase after that guy. Uh, car, yes, car... Baby. Uh, now leaving the rooftop. That's not going to make the professor happy. No, it won't. Genki may hunt them down personally. Maybe they decided leaping to their deaths was better than waiting to be cut to shreds by our contestant. Oh, well, that solves the problem, I guess. There we go. Contestant is showing today, Zach. We've seen this saint shoot, and now we've seen this saint fly. And frankly, I'm excited to see what's next, Bobby. I hope it's a cooking event, because after this, all I can think about are delicious panda dogs. I am starving, Zach. On your way, grasshopper. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't care if there's another instance of these. I ain't doing them. So, let's just hope this is a one-time thing. Nope. No, thank you. I'm good. Alright, well. I officially declare this DLC over. Just, all right. Welcome back to One try, Pandas. one try, oh, and I'm done. Sad Panda sky blazing here at Genki Ball Seven. We've seen our contestant complete the first level of this course already, and just as expected, this saint can soar with the best of them. No doubt, but eager to please the fans, Professor Genki has ordered the difficulty ramped up this second time around. Speaking of eager to please, let's check in down on the streets with our girl, Tammy. What do you got? I'm standing on a rooftop downtown with executives from several Steelport banks. Champagne is being served by scantily clad women, while large bets are being placed on how this saint will perform today. What's the spread for today's match? Only those buying in are giving the numbers, but this wager may explain the seven jumpers that were scraped off the street after the last match, Zach. Ooh, ouch! So that's why my bank closed down. Anyone else feeling suicidal? Where are you going? Seriously? Did he just jump off? All right. Well, time to go. I'm beginning to feel bad for Sam Panda, Zach. Who's that? Well, well, how would you like your face to be synonymous with unethical? But the unethical targets are the ones usually avoided, Bobby. So you're saying it's better to be ignored? No wonder she's so depressed. Time to go. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, put me back. I don't want to. Oof. The rampage is about to begin. My eyes close that time. You know, Zach. This may be the longest time in the air any contestant on Genki Bowl has spent. What about the Gorilla Trapeze from Genki Bowl 5? You know, the only real air time in that was the two seconds of free fall between fending off attacks from monkeys with machetes and falling to the carpet of buzz saws. Here, you don't have that same risk. Good point, Bobby. You know, unless, of course, the parachute doesn't work. Or a plane flies into them. Right you are. Or let's say wild panda hunters on the ground start shooting. 
<laughs> Wait a minute, okay. Now you're stretching it. Where are you going, friend? Alright. Time to go. There's the end of the Boom. match again, Bobby. Genki is sure to be happy with how well Sam Panda's course has been a crowd pleaser. And our contestant is sure to be happy with that result. Thanks for watching Genki Bowl 7, everybody. See you next time. Bye now. Yeah. Did you see that? My goodness, a performance will be ages. I don't think I've ever witnessed something so remarkable. Incredible. That was, without a doubt, the most amazing individual performance I've ever seen since Ping Pong Polly were Thursday nights at Safe World. Oh, I remember that. Hey, Bobby, how about we go down to the lovely Tammy Tolliver, who is standing by with our new champion, Tammy. Thanks, Zach. You know, over the years, you've had your doubters. Some have said you were just riding on the coattails of more accomplished people. Is this vindication for you? Uh, absolutely. Uh, not just for me, but for all the kids out there watching at home thinking that they'll never make something out of themselves. Uh, yeah, I just want to tell those kids, no matter what, work hard and anything is possible. Oh, what a great message to end on. Well, Zach, I... Hey, you know, I, I spent years honing my craft. Murdering, robbing, assaulting, more murdering. Light treason? Murdering again? All so that when I got my shot, I would be ready. Uh, that's, uh, enlightening. But what- You gotta follow your dreams, kids. Cause if you don't, you know what happens? You're gonna become your parents. How fucking depressing would that be? <laughs>